In the nearly six months since Queen Margrethe made the surprise announcement of her decision to abdicate the Danish throne and her firstborn son Frederick ascended the throne with his wife Mary of Denmark, much has happened. While rumors of a crisis in the royal marriage persist, we have seen the celebration of the 20th anniversary of their marriage, their first official trips abroad, and the first criticisms from their country of the debut of their reign. But we have also already had the birthdays of two senior members of the royal family celebrated with varying degrees of pomp. Queen Margrethe turned 84 on April 16th, and the royal family celebrated her birthday in a low-key way by releasing two new portraits in her honor. The first picture shows Queen Margrethe in a lilac dress smiling by a sunny window, while the second captures her in one of the corridors of Friedensborg Palace with her beloved Dachshin Tilia. A few weeks earlier was Mary's first birthday as queen. In honor of her 52nd lap in the sun, the Danish royal family's official Instagram account posted a smiling, previously unpublished photo of the queen with her father John Donaldson, and now it was Frederick's turn to celebrate his first birthday since taking the throne. The monarch turns 56 this Sunday, May 26th, and the royal household has announced plans for the occasion in advance. After bathing in sweat in mass with his compatriots in the new edition of the popular royal run this week, Frederick will once again receive affection from his subjects, but this time keeping his distance. On May 26, 2024, his Royal Highness the King will turn 56 years old. On this occasion, His Majesty and members of the Royal Family will appear on the balcony of Frederick, the Eighth's Palace at 12 noon a brief statement about the celebration in Copenhagen on Sunday said, The Royal Guard will be dressed in red on the King's birthday and will hold a solemn changing of the guard ceremony in the square outside Amalienborg Palace at 11.50, the text added. This solemn action of the military on the royal territory on the occasion of the monarch's birthday is somewhat similar to the traditional Trooping the Colour Parade, which is held in the UK to celebrate the official birthday of the British sovereign in June information that King Frederick will be accompanied on the palace balcony by the royal family probably probably refers to his wife, Queen Mary, and his four children, Crown Prince Christian and Princesses Isabella, Vincent and Josephine, who will join him on the balcony to wave to the crowd. However, the setting will not be the same as the day Frederick was proclaimed king, which took place on the balcony of Christiansborg Palace. The doubt is whether we will see again, this time in his official residence in Frederick VIII's palace, a kiss similar to the one the kings gave each other then. Let's remember that that moment of unexpected public intimacy between Frederick and Mary gave a lot to talk about. For while some defined it as a movie kiss, others spoke of an awkward moment or outright cobra on the part of the Australian woman towards the Dane. Then, after winking at her, the king tried unsuccessfully several times to lure his wife with a kiss, and when he finally succeeded, she barely reacted. Whether or not this moment happens again, since their relationship is under constant question after the alleged scandal, all eyes will once again be on the queen's reaction, with body language experts trying to figure out her reactions and movements. While we don't know what the Queen will give her husband for his birthday, we do know that she received a very special gift from Danish postal company Postnord, his first official stamp, as King. We at Postnord have a long and proud tradition of paying tribute to new rulers on our stamps. So we are very pleased to now be able to issue a stamp featuring the King to commemorate the change of throne in Denmark, the postal company said in a press release. The company began distributing the stamp on May 22nd, and it is already available in various versions in Denmark, as well as in Greenland and the Faroe Islands. The photo of Frederick used for the stamp was taken by Steen Ewald, 
the official photographer for the Danish royal family for more than a decade. However, this is not the first time Frederick has appeared on a Danish stamp. His portrait has already been seen on stamps when he was very young, on his 18th birthday, on the jubilee of his mother, Queen Margaret II, on his wedding to Queen Mary, and on a special collection issued for the charitable foundation he heads with his wife, dot in, the nearly six months since Queen Margaret's surprise announcement of her abdication from the Danish throne and the accession of her eldest son, Frederick, with his wife, Mary of. Denmark, many significant events have taken place. Despite rumors of a crisis in the royal marriage, we witnessed celebrations of their 20th anniversary together, their first official foreign trips, and the first criticisms of their reign. The birthdays of two senior members of the royal family were also celebrated with varying degrees of solemnity. Queen Marguerite celebrated her 84th birthday on April 16th, and the royal family celebrated the day rather modestly, releasing two new portraits in her honor. Mary celebrated her first birthday as queen, and then it was Frederick's turn to celebrate his first birthday on the throne. The king turned 56 on May 26th, and the royal household announced plans for the occasion in advance. After participating in the popular royal run, Frederick will once again receive love from his subjects, this time keeping his distance. The celebration of King Frederick's birthday emphasized the importance of tradition and family values to the Danish monarchy. Despite rumors and criticism, the royal family continues to show unity and commitment to its duties to the people of Denmark. Appearing on the balcony with the family, as well as paying attention to royal traditions such as the changing of the guard, emphasize the importance of continuing traditions and strengthening the bond between the monarchy and the people. The issue of the first official stamp featuring King Frederick by Postnord symbolizes the beginning of a new era in the history of the Danish monarchy. This gesture emphasizes the significance of the transition of power and the role of the monarchy in monarchy in modern society. In conclusion, the first months of King Frederick and Queen Mary's reign are characterized by attempts to balance between respecting tradition and adapting to the demands of the modern world. Despite challenges and rumors, they strive to maintain the image of a strong and united royal family. Time will tell how they will meet these challenges and what new chapters will be written in the history of the Danish monarchy. And so we come to the end of our video about the first months of King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark's reign. We hope you have been interested in learning about this new chapter in the history of the Danish monarchy, traditions, family values, and how the royal family is adapting to modern challenges. We thank you for watching and invite you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new royal news videos from around the world. Don't forget to also click on the bell to be notified of new publications. Thank you for your attention and see you on our channel.